Hi guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's Wild About Art. So today I'm doing a picture of a little mouse and it's climbing down a branch on a berry bush. Uh, I think it's probably a mulberry or a blueberry or something like that. Um, so I just love this picture. I thought it was really, really cute. and It was a good um, chance to pack, practice some berries and things like that. So I'm using my Sennelia and my um, Schminky watercolors today. And as you can see, I started, I drew the first picture and I wasn't really happy with the position of the mouse. So I moved it down a little bit um, and you yeah, rubbed it all out, moved it down. So now I'm drawing in the berries and I'm doing it with my mechanical pencil. So I just draw all those in, just get the rough outlines. And, and I start to do a branch up and then I think, oh no, his tail doesn't look right there. So I decide to have the tail running down and around the branch. So yeah, change that, which I can rub out most of the pencil marks and then I can um, just go over that with watercolour anyway, you won't see it towards the end. So then I go in to the berries and I go in with a bit of alyssa and crimson and a bit of geranium to, to begin with. I just mix the two a little bit together and just really wet wash just to get some red onto the berries. And I'll build them up in layers. They're almost a, a blue or a black, you know, the, 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 in the end, but they have little red tinges through them, you know, where they weren't quite ripe. And so I build up the layers on the berries just slowly, um, adding it in, adding the colours in on top into the damp. And I build up um, to, to quite dark colours on some of the berries. So I've got a bit too much water on that one. So I blot that out and pop some more berries in, some little dots in. And this colour is actually um, like a, a dark indigo and I mixed it with a bit of quin purple. To give me that dark deep purpley colour. And then I add a bit of vermilion just to intensify the reds in the berries in the middle of, in between the little bally bits on the berries. So now I'm going in with a sap green onto the stick that the brand, the berries are on. And then I put a little bit, a mix of uh, green, yellow and a little bit of yellow ochre to make a brownie colour and I run that through the green. Then I use a bit of transparent sienna in his eyes just for the first little bit. And I watered down a bit of scarlet red to make this pinky purpley colour. And I just mixed it in with a little bit of the previous purple that I had, just made it very light, very watery, so that it wasn't a strong colour. And I just build that up a little bit into his tail and his ears and anywhere that's a little bit pink. So now I run the wet brush over the whole mouse and I pop a bit of yellow ochre for the base coat of his fur. And I will build that up in different colours. So now I'm adding a bit of transparent sienna over the top of the yellow ochre. Just around the little bit of his mouth and his nose. And then I add a bit of burnt umber with a bit of cobalt blue to make a brownie grey. And I do the round part of his eye and pop his little freckly dots on his nose where his whiskers will be. A few texture fur texture around his head and his back and I'm doing that with a bit of uh, transparent sienna just a very thin wash of it and a little bit I mixed it with it oh sorry burnt sienna I did with that a little bit of burnt sienna to add the fur texture just very watered down after that first layer had dried then I add some water around the outside and I just wet the whole paper and I run some or oh, some uh, yellow uh, green sorry greeny yellow or yellow lemon yellow and a bit of cobalt blue just a very watery mix and wet the whole paper and then I get a bit of hooker's green and I run that around I mix hooker's green with a bit of cad yellow and I blob that around so it just looks like there's trees and branches and leaves in the background just to model the background. Then I get my fine liner brush and I pop the little whiskers on and do some more fur texture around his little body. So 
Just adding in the details. I just add that little leg sort of disappeared there, so I just browned that leg up a bit. Then I take a bit of Payne's grey and just pop that in the pupil, pupil of his little eye. And then I get a bit more indigo and a bit more um, quinacridone purple and darken up some of those little dots on those berries just to give some variation in them. Really strengthen the colour, they're quite lovely. Pop me autograph on and we're done! So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. I had an awesome relaxing time doing this little mouse. They're one of my favourite subjects. I'd love it if you click like and subscribe and yeah I'll see you guys for the next video. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you then. Okie doke. Bye.